Across all of the Phineas and Ferb videos I've done, whether it's songs, out of context, whatever, one thing has been consistent, and that is people in the comments saying, please watch Roller Coaster the Musical. So that's what this is. I actually think I've already listened to one song from this in my very first Phineas and Ferb songs video. The, 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 the big song at the end? I don't know what it's called. I just remember it vaguely. But the rest of it is a complete mystery to me, including the premise. I know that in the first episode, they apparently built a roller coaster and and I don't know whether this is related to that or it just happens to be another episode involving roller coasters. Or maybe they're just singing about the first episode. That'd be kind of weird, but also not unexpected for Phineas and Ferb. Let's go. Mom, Phineas and Ferb are making a title sequence. How have I never noticed that the P and F in Phineas and Ferb is, uh, is their faces? I've literally never noticed that. You know, Ferb, it always seems so chill. When we built that roller coaster. Well, my question was answered right off the bat. It is about that first episode. This time, as a musical. Why? What do you say? We'll do all the same things, except we're breaking a spontaneous singing and choreography with no discernible music source. <laughs> what assurance would we have that everyone else would also break into song and do the same thing? Just because. I don't know. I think they probably will. Fair enough. I'm in. I can't tell if I love or hate the fact that the reason is just... Why not? At least they acknowledged it. That's better than a whole lot of musicals that just randomly have it. Are they busting into song right away? They're like hitting the ground running. Also, why does Perry always look like he's just ingested copious amounts of narcotics? He's not even, he's not there. Not present mentally, he's on Jupiter. I know what we're gonna do today. Though it might sound just a bit cliche Didn't you already say what you're gonna do? And they ask us we can both remember Every cool and clever thing we did all summer long Are they doing it just to... for bragging rights? <laughs> oh, we're doing it so that when people ask us, we can tell them. Hey bitches. We built a roller coaster again. But this time, everybody sung, and that is very different. <laughs> Back, we're gonna be so glad that we didn't sit all day and watch TV. When do they ever sit all day and watch TV? And that's what makes me say. Loved the backing harmonies that just came in and them rundowns. Oh my gosh. Why are there cat people? Oh, cats. Uh, don't like it. Hey, first, oh. God. <laughs> All right. They're doing a whole bunch of different musicals. I'm glad that it wasn't just an extended sequence with Phineas and Ferb as cats. So like, I don't, I would not have liked that. I'm trying to like, I know what these musicals are, but I didn't know what the cowboy one was. <laughs> they look so dorky in all of them. I kind of love it though. This is setting a very weird tone already. Hey, Ferb. Phineas, Ferb, I'm gonna go pick up a few things. Why was Fer Ferb was like completely silent throughout that whole thing. Why didn't he go like, uh, what the hell, man? That's pretty weird. <laughs> Hold on. Sorry, my brain is computing something. Does Phineas and Ferb usually do cutaways? Like cutaway jokes? Yeah. But like, it's when someone's remembering something, right? Because he said the music has no discernible source. How would they doing all that like within universe you know how how was he just like bouncing around between different musicals imagination yeah but like this is why i'm questioning it because isn't part of the whole thing that phineas and ferb have quite grounded things and like all the stuff that they do and the really weird visuals are like actually things that they're doing not just like typical cartoon cutaway gags but now they're away in a musical it's it's fine <laughs> it's not fine, but it's fine. I'm in charge, right? You did tell them I'm in charge. Relax, Candace. Nobody has to be in charge. I guess I've never noticed how much the mum just kind of shuts down Candace. Like, oh my god, uh, why are you bitching again? <laughs> just, <laughs> there doesn't need to be some kind of hierarchy, Candace. Get over it, okay? <laughs> so Candace's mum might be a bit awful, but do you know what the opposite of a bad mum is? A good dad. And Father's Day is coming up. So I've partnered with Ridge and they're having a huge Father's Day sale. The Ridge wallet can expand to hold up to 12 cards and there's even room for cash. It's ridiculously slim and when I've used it, 
it, I hardly even notice it. A fun fact is I actually didn't even use wallets anymore because they were just too bulky and annoying. But since Ridge sent me this, I've started again. They're also designed with RFID blocking materials to protect you against digital pickpocketing. And you can even get an optional AirTag attachment if you're prone to losing your stuff. There are over 30 colors and styles. And of course I went for bright pink and this is the Ridge key case. It holds one to six keys and it stops them from jingling. It's super compact and it's way easier than having to search through a whole bunch of keys on a keychain. You can get up to 30% off when you buy the wallet and the key case together. Genuinely, since Ridge sent me these, my parents have been asking about them almost nonstop and saying they're gonna steal mine. So maybe that tells you something. So if you want a great Father's Day gift, make sure to head to my link at ridge.com slash Matthew and you can get up to 40% off until June 15th. Again, that's ridge.com slash Matthew. All right, let's get back to this episode. What if a wild moose, a whole herd of them, burst into the house and attack everyone? If that mm. happens, you're in charge. But if that happened, how would Candace being in charge help? She's gonna order the moose to leave. And the moose will go, so sorry, we didn't realize you're in charge, Candace. We apologize for our disrespect. Good luck with the rest of your day. Mom says I'm in charge, conditionally. The condition didn't have anything to do with the moose, did it? You know, it's funny that you mentioned that. How did he know? I'm watching you. D How is she just that predictable? Or is Phineas just psychic? She left me in charge. Well, you know, conditionally. Well, that's better than not in charge at all, I guess. Where do they just manifest the materials from? And then they're just in charge, completely devoid of modifiers. That's what I'm shooting for. Huh? Wait, what, what am I... Can I not go? One... God damn, Phineas and Ferb video without seeing the worst thing that's ever existed. That, you know, one video. I pick a fucking episode, a, a single episode, a self-contained story, and still this piece of shit disgusting, weird, disembodied baby head still haunts me. Why? I am sad now. What do you mean you could see it from where you are? See what? Check it is out. Is everyone just it's like psychic? From here. Pipes! What is this? Do you like it? Ooh, that... I'm gonna tell mom and when she sees what you are doing, you are going down. I thought they were like pretty capable and built things well. That looks like a janky ass death coaster made from junk. Maybe they'll clean it up and tidy it up later, but that I would not get on that. Especially if a f***ing baby head's still on there. Going down, going down when I... Look at that. What's up with the pineapples too? Oh, I guess it's only... This thing's just the track. The rest of it is... I'm so confused where they're going with this because like half of these pipes aren't carrying any sort of load. They're just random ass pipes. But you're not going to get away with it. Like they're building like something. They're not like misbehaving, you know, they're not like building a death ray. They're just making a roller coaster. I mean, it's a death coaster at the moment, but you know, I guess the parents might not want a coaster in their backyard and that's understandable, but why is Candace like, ah, oh, you can't, ooh, naughty, naughty. <laughs> Does she just have several Phineas and Ferb plushies hanging around? Candace looks kind of badass in some of these, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's a nice note. Okay, bit of a banger. Candace, delivering, I'm, I'm, oh. Why does the pipe get squished so much in that little... It's worse close up. See, no discernible music source. Says you, you did it before as well. I'm just a curious girl across the way. <laughs> man, how oblivious is Phineas if he just doesn't see it, man? How could I possibly have known she was into me? All she does is come visit me all the time, make excuses to see me, bat her eyelids at me, and try to be cute. How could I have picked up on it? What you doing? What you doing? It's just all Phineas's head. I feel bad for her. She's even like, man's not clued in. She even literally just said it's not directed at Ferb. She just wants to talk to Phineas and he's like, ah, oh, I'm distracted. I don't have any time for you, my long-term friend. You have no I 
was an interesting rhyme. Uh, I'm here for it. Also, I'm pretty sure I've said this about it before, but she has quite a nice voice. There's something about it that's so sweet. I will say though, she is evoking some very strange visuals that I'm not a fan of, you know? Uh, Phineas's uh, disembodied head floating around in the background. Not that great. Sick dance moves. How do they all know the choreography and where did they come from? She came alone. Hey, Isabella. What oh, he finally acknowledged her. Okay. Still a man of few words, I see. Waved no, you missed hammer. it. Earlier you had two lines. <laughs> Where's Perry? There we go. The narcotics wore off. Morning, Agent B. The evil Dr. Doofenshmirtz is up to his old... Hey, those are my initials. Wait. I feel like I've had this realization before in a video. <laughs> He's bought up 80% of the country's tin foil. Carl, did, didn't tin you already foil? do that? Yes, sir. At the beginning of summer. Whoa. Oh, so is that from the first episode as well? Ah, oh, the world of a field agent. Out in the thick of things. Not like me. No, don't you sing to world me. Is the screen. I don't care, bro. But I can dare to read. Carl! <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. I thought you were done. You want me to turn him back on? Carl just did me and everyone else a favor. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too mean, but I don't really care what he has to say. <laughs> Give me Phineas and Ferb, Isabella, and, well, Perry, I guess. So the way I see it, the solid fuel line... Oh, yeah, they won't see you as long as you do that. They release the snakes during the corkscrew around the interstate. Snakes? I'm gonna go get some snakes. Around the interstate? How big is this thing? Mom, you gotta come home right now. Let me guess. A herd of wild moose are in our living This song! I think this was also in my first video. They're building a roller coaster. Candace, you've already used that one. Mom looks, don't roll your eyes at me. Mom looks, just come over and see. I remember this being in my head after the video too. That's gonna happen again. Made it winter in June. I didn't see it. Built a rocket to the moon. I didn't see it. Mommy caused me so much pain. I mean, also because she's just not looking ever. We built a submarine, a time machine, a haunted house. Such a bop. Oh my god. I think I said this when I did this song before, but at that point I was also talking with zero context. But like, the things that she's saying they've done to her are pretty horrific. Like, I guess if you were her mum, you might be like, oh, well, she's clearly just making things up. But the consistent complaints might warrant a little bit of looking into, right? Especially since how do you not know your children are super geniuses? And, you know, if she's telling the truth, doesn't it mean... You know, the two boys are kind of just torturing their sister against her will for fun. Oh, I don't know if anyone's ever been tortured. Not against their will. Shot me through a circus tent, always ask for Perry when a lava flow destroyed my face, a giant roller derby race, thought it came in at it by its build a roller coaster twice! Isn't Phineas a little young to be a roller coaster engineer? How is she like not just seeing anything? She's intentionally ignoring things, right? I'm really quite impressed. But all your permits are Wasn't he going to get snakes? If you need a power load or be my guest. But if I'm pressed, I'd say you'd look a little young to drive. If you need a power load or be my guest. Wait, yeah, man, take the machinery. Whatever you need. I don't care. No restrictions apply. We will give heavy machinery to a small child. It's good to see a younger guy like you who's creative and ambitious. It's the wig all over again. How's that hat staying on there? What's, what is happening there? Yes, it's true that you seem a little young to do the things that you do, even with all the marks that you've got. But like, he's clearly doing it, so how are you doubting it? Cooperating, where being evil is not the date. You know, I should really write the rest of that someday. <laughs> I really do want to hear a Doofenshmirtz song. I hope we get one right here, right now. Ah, Penny the Platypus, what a surprise. Let me show you what I've been working is on. Actual arm? <laughs> <laughs> I've covered the entire eastern seaboard in tin foil. Woo! -hoo, that accomplishes a lot. When I put my giant magnet next to my ingenious magnetism magnifinator. That's too many magnets. Thereby reversing rotation of the Earth. Which I, I know I does? Did this before, but that was with a magnifier, and this is a magnifinator. Why? Why do you want to reverse the rotation of the Earth? That would accomplish nothing, except I think probably destroying the planet somehow. Which I don't think he'd want to do, considering he lives on the planet. You're probably expecting some tragic backstory to explain why I want to reverse the rotation of the Earth. Yes, but I'm not I want to understand. Why. Well, I'll tell you. 
That is a lot more of Doofenshmirtz than I ever wanted to see. Not the aesthetic and sound I thought I would get from him in a song. He's practically twerking. Oh my lord, this is so uncomfortable. Vocal delivery, what the hell? What the sh**? That was so weird. Like, for a second, I thought that I must be dreaming because it was so surreal. And now we're getting this. Are there going to be more genres? I get a couple of checks every month from my ex so I can finance my carving regime. His ex pays for his evil schemes? Is that what that just said? Uh, that is... How rich is the ex? Because I'm as sure as could be that it's my destiny to be the ruler of the tri-state Man, aim higher, you know? Like, if you're a genius and you're able to do all kinds of things and build all kinds of technology, you're just like, mm, yeah. I'm not gonna take over the world, not even the country, just the tri-state area. Which, if you did, wouldn't the rest of the country just immediately be like, oh, let's go shut that down? <laughs> so are we done? Cause I gotta pick up my kid from school. One second, just wait till it goes to black. <laughs> all right, now you can go. All right, so he hired them? But mom telling you they're building it and it's huge and i'm telling you you've used this story before and no one can possibly ever do something twice it is it is physically not something that can be done Denise and fur present the coolest coaster look ever at the now. poster bitch Mom! hey look the coolest coaster ever do you think we'll get in free with this poster are phineas and ferb like even trying to hide it from their parents or are they just openly doing it and their parents are just willfully ignorant because that's somehow worse like if they were being sneaky and then like every time the mum looked they happened to do something to cover it up that's one thing but if the mum's just like no candace i won't believe you you say all of this stuff and i never even look into it i don't care enough about your well-being or anything off, leave me alone, stop talking, I'm trying to buy groceries. I don't care that you're telling me that your brothers horrifically torture you. Tell you the truth, I don't give a sh Even if it was true, you deserved it because you're so annoying. It's like they're right there on the poster, bro. Like they're, they're advertising it and the mum's just like, <laughs> if anyone's gonna ride this thing, it's gonna be me, not one of you lousy extras. And <laughs> lousy extras, but like, can only one person ride it? He's like, if anyone's gonna ride it, it's gonna be me or, you know, all of you. There's, there's got to be more posters though, right? Not just one. I see your point, Candace. No crazy person would scream at a post like that. I'll be in the dairy section if you want to come yell at some cheese. Wow, she's kind of a bitch. Would you like to yell at some cheese? A little. Well, come on then. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hope Agent P is having good luck like I told him to. My whole world is the screen. My man's just like unloading. <laughs> When the mum and dad come home and they see all this and Candace goes, see, I told you. What, she's just going to be like, you're lying. Nothing's there. Or are Phineas and Ferb going to somehow magically disassemble this in the span of time that they go to the grocery store and back? How quickly did everyone get here? Is Buford here? Because he was at the grocery store. <laughs> He's not going to speak, is he? He's actually just tapping in Morse code. Why, why does he seem like an evil tech overlord? May I present you a spectacle most of the morning in the making. Mark your calendars. He is there. He got from the store to here. And I get that Candace and her mum are still doing grocery shopping, but enough time has passed for Buford to come back. So won't they be finishing up shopping soon? And then they'll come over and then be like, oh, look, a roller coaster. So unstable. Someone gonna die. And this time it's a musical. That poor bird. To release, just pull back up. He's not even strapped in. He's just straddling the pot. So his hats defy gravity and so does he. Or he's just got the most core strength of any person in the world. Phineas, are you sure this is safe? No, it's not. It's like a leisurely drive around downtown. Yeah, so, so chill and leisurely. But it starts with a three-mile drop straight down. Three miles? None of them have seatbelts or a buckle or a bar or anything. At a right angle like that, they would just go, 
<laughs> they have to have like at least some sort of gradual, not just like. <laughs> And again, though, they're not hiding it. If the mother drives anywhere around the city, she'll be like, there's a roller coaster. Huh. Maybe my daughter is saying some truth. But no, she'll just be like, no, no, no. It's clearly a different coaster. The triangle, the head boy, and the one that doesn't speak? Nope, those, <laughs> your brothers look different. Her mom is like gaslighting queen. That's disgusting. That's very, very fast. This is the kind of roller coaster that you build on Roller Coaster Tycoon and pump literally everything up to the max. And then when the people get on it, they just kind of fling around until they all fly off into their death. And then the park doesn't let you open it because it's like, no, everyone that gets on this ride just immediately passes out and dies later. Would you get on it? I don't think so. Oh, they're strapped in now. No one else is. <laughs> Sorry, you're only strapped in if you're standing on the front of the carriage and playing an instrument. So everyone else, good luck. In the, oh my God. Zero regard for anyone's well-being. He just threw the guitar. So like someone just down on the street, smacked in the face with the guitar, dead, you know? Maybe they're walking home with their husband and then the husband has to go home and go, sorry children, mummy won't be coming home anymore because some dickhead who built a roller coaster, not thinking of any consequences, just threw his guitar haphazardly while trying to murder multiple children. Sorry about that. Got a problem? Take it up with the triangle guy. Is it just me or are Phineas and Ferb kind of like not great people? <laughs> Wait, how'd he get the guitar back? Did he have a spare? So he knew he was gonna throw it. So that was premeditated. Just because I'm evil doesn't mean I don't care about How is he gonna get the- You missed. Okay, oh. Ow! 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 Seems plausible. Are they fighting with wrench? Oh my God, he drove it further into his foot. Watch helplessly as the unimaginable electromagnetic forces pull the eastern seaboard. And I, I guess he said electromagnetic, but like, doesn't aluminium foil not get stuck to magnets? Isn't that a thing? So, <laughs> whatever, man. Wouldn't also the, yeah, I was gonna say, wouldn't the tin foil just get ripped off? It's not gonna drag buildings. Oh God. Gonna hit him. All of tin foil traveling 200 miles an hour directly at us! A giant cannonball. Is it just me or is this a serious deja vu moment? Oh well, weird. Where was I? Oh yeah. Ah! Ah! Oh, she actually did take up the offer to scream at cheese. Oh, 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 oh. It goes past the store. It's next to them and the mother's not gonna see it. Right, is the tinfoil ball gonna destroy the coaster? You say, again, again with the deja vu. You were up there, I was saying, you saved mm. us, and then, hmm, and then something came. Well, so he's dead. Doofenshmirtz is no more. Lifts up the whole thing. I feel so bad for Candace, oh my God. Ma, time to go, I've got Frozen's. Okay, so you think that Phineas and Ferb are still under that stupid tree in the backyard, right? Well, yes. Who are they? Did you see those people in the background? Who who are they? Why are they looking at them? And why do they look like them? What is going on there? That's creepy as. Is it gonna launch them back to the backyard? Oh, there you are, Perry. And you're not questioning why he's there? Nice hat, Isabella. They just like luck their way through life, don't they? I don't remember this in the blueprint. And I'm sure this is new. They're just like dead in so many ways. I don't think the statue is made of rubber. Paris? Suzette. What do you say, Suzette? You want a crepe? No, thank you. How far did they travel? Death again. The music is horrifying. <laughs> what the sh? It 
was good to see me. Okay. Was that just them like acknowledging their death? They're like, well, if we perish here, it was good to see Meep. An alien that we know, apparently. Yes! See, Mom? I told you they weren't there. Oh, hi, boys. Hi, Mom. Come on, Candace, help me with the groceries. Let's go. If they, why don't they ever say, oh yeah, Mom, we built a roller coaster, it was pretty cool. They're just like pretending they're not and making their mom think that Candace is crazy. See, they don't seem very nice. <laughs> hey, Phineas, that was great. Way too cool. That was awesome! Can we do it again? Was it? I mean, I guess if you made it out the other side, you might think that was great, but I'd be like, wow, uh, I am traumatized from this horrific experience. Please never contact me again. In fact, you know what? I might be pressing charges. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Carpe diem. Excuse me? Carpe diem. Oh yeah, this is the one I've seen. Well, we hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope it was not anti such a such a weird thing. Is it even weirder knowing how the rest of the episode went? I know it sounds a bit so did they hire these people too? Because Doofenshmirtz did. Okay. This is the song that I remembered, and also it's German. Gonna get in my head again. Is this bitch for real? You are dancing now at the roller coaster that your daughter spent ages telling you existed. And you're there now. Are you gonna be like, no, Candace, no, no, no. You never said anything about a roller coaster. Oh my god, I'm I'm angry on Candace's behalf. Why is she happily dancing though? I feel like Candace should now go up to her mom and go, see, see, I told you there is a roller coaster. Will you maybe believe me next time if I come to you and say, oh my God, please help. Phineas and Ferb have turned me inside out and are slowly and painfully taking pieces of skin off of me to sell to Kentucky Fried Chicken as their newest line. Will you go, oh, maybe I should give this some modicum of thought? Or will you again say, Candace, you crazy. Leave me alone, I've gotta buy cheese. Candace gonna hit 18 and just go no contact. Never talk to anyone from her family again. You know, Phineas and Ferb, maybe not the best people. They can, they can write a song though. And this last chorus, let's really hit that straight arm like this, okay? Five, six, seven, eight! You don't have to build a it's so ridiculous. Oh. And who are they hiring? How'd they get here? Did they bribe them with a, with a near death experience on a roller coaster? Every day's a brand new day, baby, carpe diem. Every day's a brand new day. Who are these people and why are they involved in the coaster now? I, I blissfully forgot that it existed. And of course, I had to be reminded, I am not allowed to go more than 15 minutes without being reminded that that thing exists. It's, it's, it's disgusting. I, I just, I, I don't even, I don't even know what to feel, except for anger on Candace's behalf. That's it. They put her through hell. And she, she gets nothing. It'd be great if the mother just like opened her eyes. Stop being such an oblivious trash bag. And look, anyway, <laughs> Phineas and Ferb, it's such a weird show. It really is. Entertaining. It was a good episode. Whack. Two things made me angry. The stuff Candace puts up with and that f***ing baby head. That's it. And that, that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. The next time that that baby head floats through into my dreams and, and pierces me through the face with its decrepit, disgusting eyes. See you then.